I think the lack of accomplishments, this is the way I honestly feel, the lack of um, things that I was able to accomplish in terms of World Cup and Olympics and stuff like that, I would like to pass on the idea of what the process needs to be for the younger guys to get there. Um, so yeah, I'm more focused on trying to get those guys to get to where I wasn't able to get. I feel like if they get there, no matter where I am, even if I'm retired by then, that I was part of helping them get there. So that's kind of where I'm at in my, in my mental, mental state. We haven't opened that door yet, and that's what we're working on right now, is uh, working with the embassy to uh, create some, uh, some network of universities that will look at uh, potential players here, 17 to 18 years old, who have the academic capabilities to, to keep up with the schoolwork and have the discipline and the work ethic to also play at the NCAA level. And there is, from my experience of what I've seen over in the U.S. from playing NCAA and also seeing the, you know, the kids, the younger kids, there's definitely a, uh, a uh, recruiting uh, potential here. We definitely got to tap into the talent here. Looking back at it, uh, I, I feel like I did everything I possibly could. I'm not sure if I would change too much. Just, uh, you know, enjoy the ride. Uh, try to try to live in the moment. Don't try to try to think too much about the objective and think more about the process. If I had to do it all over again, I wouldn't. I wouldn't change anything. I wouldn't change a thing. Why? Taught me a lot. Uh, you know, taught me a lot. And more, more so, reiterated some of the things, some of the principles. Uh, that I learned back home through uh, my athletic collegiate athletic career, my high school career, and it also gave me a chance to uh, implement some of those ideas into the Algerian culture. So I hope that I can leave that seed uh, from the things that I was able to learn from my experience there and kind of leave that seed here for the younger generation. So I think that's something that you know I wouldn't give up for anything.